Good Monday afternoon. You're joining me, Caitlin, for another one of our Monday movement sessions together. I don't know what all these gestures are when I'm doing this. I can't seem to stand still. Um, but anyway, let's crack on with this video. You are welcome if you are new or if you've done some classes before of mine or any of X and other classes. We're going to be doing some new material today, so it doesn't matter if you're either. That is the beauty of these being recorded. You can go and rewatch any or you can watch this one as many times as you like like. So welcome either way, thank you for joining me today. Before we get started, just a couple of things as always. Please make sure that you're wearing some clothes that you can move in freely and that you're comfortable with. Make sure that you are in a space that is safe and you're not going to bang into anything. Um, obviously I always say I'm working in my space. If yours looks different to mine, if it's a different shape, then adapt anything to suit you. That goes with anything that we do today. If something we do doesn't feel good or you can't do it because your space is shaped differently then please just amend it to what works best for you as long as we're moving together is all I care about um, then make sure you've got some water as always uh, I like to drink lots when I'm moving around so please make sure you are too either when I invite you to during this video or just pause it at any point um, and do grab some water as well or now if you need to please feel free to pause me uh, lastly as always any music I use today XM do not own and we intend no copyright by using it so before I yabber on too much more like normal let's get cracking we're gonna start with a warm-up Today is going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to have the length of two tracks. Now, we are going to roll the body out like we normally would, but we're going to adapt it to a little bit of an improvisation task. So, I know, the word improvisation, it's scary, um, but it doesn't have to be, okay? The idea is, and whenever I invite us to do any improvisation together, is that you can feel free to explore it. It's up to you. Nobody's watching you. This is the beauty as well of us being at home. You can do whatever you want as long as you're being safe. So, when I say improvisation, I'm not just going to leave you to do whatever. I'm going to give you some tasks to go along with that as well. So that's what we're going to use for our warm-up today. So already, we've got one task that we need to complete with it. We call this a structured improvisation. So it's got a task within it. One, we want to warm up. That's the idea. And I've already said, the idea is that we're rolling the body still too. Okay, and then thirdly, I want us to use our imagination a little bit because we're good at this. So I'm going to be imagining, now I call this a hot oil um, exercise. It's not burning hot, you're just imagining some nice warm oil. We're going to start with the top of the head and you're going to imagine that you've got this oil all on the top of the head and you want to spread it to the whole body. Okay, we're using our imagination for this. I also like to put a colour to mine. So for some reason today, I'm imagining this warm, this lovely oil that I've got on the top of my head is purple. Don't know why, but it is. As long as you're imagining something that's helping to move through your body and your rolling is going to help you do that. Okay, so we're going to put two songs on. We're going to roll all through the body and we're going to get that oil to spread everywhere, all the way to our feet, all the way to the tips of our fingers into the face, into the neck, down the back, absolutely everywhere. You're more than welcome to copy me if you want to or to completely improvise and just do your own thing with whatever feels good for you. And that is the main thing. Make sure it all feels good as well, okay? Before I talk anymore, I'm gonna put on two songs. We've got about five minutes for our warm up, and let's do it together. Okay, so finding a little bit of space around us. I like to close my eyes to begin so I can really get my imagination going. I'm going to imagine this warm, this really soothing oil that's in the top of my head and I want to spread it all over my body, absolutely everywhere. Like I said, it's purple for me, so I want to try and tip this, pour it into every part of my head. Our improvisation task, so however you imagine that we're all moving. Feel free to 
have your eyes open. If you want them closed, just be careful. Make sure you open them as you begin moving more. Just make sure we're being safe. Right now I've done my shoulders, I'm going to try and work it into my arms, how can I pour that oil all over my body, if you've done my touch, I spread it over my face.
hanging this movement down. To a close. Last final bit. Good. And coming back together. Okay, so hopefully we are feeling a little bit warmer now and ready to move a bit deeper. We're gonna move on to our strengthening exercises next. And I hope that that exercise has helped ease a little bit of um, anxious feelings you may have been uh, experiencing when you think about improvisation and hopefully it's given you just a little bit more confidence and access into the technique a bit more. Uh, that's our aim that we do this together and we build our tech our technique, yeah we build our technique, um, and our confidence up. So each week, each time we come together throughout these series of classes, um, my aim and my hope is that we can build a little bit of confidence up together, um, whether that's something new like improvisation and we just try different things and maybe afterwards they might not seem so scary, they might seem horrendous afterwards and that's okay, but the idea is that we've explored them and that we have that choice together. Okay, so I know I've already spoken loads this lesson, um, so I'm going to move on to our strength before we cool down at all. So as normal, we've got four exercises to do. We're going to change the times of them a little bit today, just to challenge us a bit more. Uh, our first one, we've done these before. We're going to start, I'm going to go diagonal so that you can see me. We're going to start in our parallel position. I'm taking a roll down. I've got straight legs. I've got flat hands on the floor. I'm going to walk all the way out to a plank position, nice and strong. And then I'm going to walk my hands all the way back, bending the knees to roll up, okay? If when we're rolling down and walking out to our plank, you want to bend your knees, that's totally fine. If when we come out to our actual plank position, you want to place those knees on the floor, as long as you've got a straight line from your knees to your shoulders, tucking the toes to come back up, that is totally fine as well. As long as we're engaging our whole body, that's all that matters. We're going to do a minute of those because time flies with those ones. Um, it's just the idea is to mobilize the body a little bit more. Then we're gonna move on to our second one. Again, we've done these before, so please do take care of your own pace. You've got levels. Either you can do with a jump or without a jump. It's totally up to you. We're gonna do 30 seconds of burpees. So we're jumping up. I like to reach my hands up as I do so as well. I'm gonna bend my knees, place my hands on the floor, jump both feet back to a plank position, jump them back in to again, Repeat and repeat and repeat, okay? So jump, hands down, out to a plank, back in. Jump, hands down, out to a plank, back in. Take them as fast or slow as you want to, okay? Number three, we're gonna come down to the floor, and I think these are called pointed toe lifts, or something like that. The idea is we're gonna be on all fours, we're gonna lift one leg up into the air, the toes are gonna be pointed towards the ceiling, we're gonna lift that leg up, and down, and I'm engaging my glutes and my lower back, so I'm lifting up towards the ceiling, nice and controlled, trying to make sure the, the toes aren't going in any funky directions, trying to aim for them to go straight up. We're gonna do 30 seconds on one leg, lift the other leg, and we're gonna do the same, 30 seconds, and we should really be engaging our lower back muscles and our glutes when we're doing this. Our fourth exercise, can't speak today, keep jumbling over my words, but our fourth exercise is gonna be from our all fours, we're gonna flip over, we're gonna to come to our bridge position, so hands are behind, we're gonna push up, so we're in a nice flat position, and we're gonna hold it here for 30 seconds, okay? We wanna be nice and straight. If you wanna elongate your neck, then you can do as well, but just be careful not to strain it. If you want an extra challenge, you can lift one foot off the floor, and then the other, it is totally up to you, okay? 30 seconds of that one, I think I said as well, so just to recap, I went through that super quick. We're gonna have one minute. Walk out to plank, rolling back up. Then we're gonna come into our burpees for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do our pointed toe lifts on all fours, 30 seconds on each leg. We're gonna flip, and for our little last bit of strength, we're gonna hold our bridge position for 30 seconds as well. Okay, let's crack some music on and let's get cracking. Okay, I've got my phone, I'm gonna time us through this. We've got our funky music on. Let's go. First exercise, walking out to a plank and back in. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, go!
Making your time. Keeping that form. Okay, 
Nice, so now I've got the way, let's talk a little bit about the phrase. We're gonna start working on our plie and rises a little bit, and to begin with, they're just gonna be nice and open and free. So I've got a nice demi plie, we're gonna come back, strengthening, pulling through the legs, we're gonna come up to a rise, pulling through the head, pushing over those big toes, lowering down to repeat twice. So second time, we go demi plie, nice long lengthen, rising through the feet, Nice low. Good. We're going to take a grand plie next in a parallel position. So making sure we're engaging those thighs and not slumping down onto our heels as we go down. The arms are going to come forwards and then we're going to open out into our second position. So we're going to come down, a little there, pushing up, get those heels down as soon as you can, stretching the leg up, shoulders away from the ears. We're going to do that twice. So let's come down again, nice grand plie, engaging those thighs. My bum is not on my heels here, and my back is nice and long and tall. As I come up, the arms are opening. Good. From here, now it's important that the arms are out at this point. The rest of the time, you can have a good funky time if you want to. As long as we've finished that second grand plie, the arms are nice and wide, because we're going to take a plie again in a demi, but this time we're going to have a nice curve on top of it. Okay, and when I'm curving, I want to make sure my knees are bent in this curve and that I've got almost like a string and it's pulling me backwards. I'm not closing off my upper body, I'm trying to stay nice and open and the arms will help you to do this. So when we're bringing the arms forward, I'm trying to keep a nice open, rounded chest, my head, my focus is down because I'm curving the spine and the head is an extension of that. So I've got a nice C through the body, but I'm not closing my chin, I'm keeping my neck nice and long still, okay? And I've got a nice plie. It's comfortable, it should feel quite nice through the back. We're arching the upper back as well, arching, curving the upper back as well, so it should feel quite nice. We're gonna open, stretch the arms up this time in our rise to lower back down. Don't fall off of it like I just did. And then we will repeat that one twice as well. So second time, arms are wide. We curve, we straighten, we rise, we lower. Okay, let's go from the beginning. So that was quite a lot, but it should make sense. We're in our parallel position. We're gonna have two nice relaxed demi plie and a rise and a demi plie and a rise. Good, this time we have a grand plie. So down, engage the legs, coming up, again, down, and this time, curve with the plie, rise, arms up above the head, curve, straighten those legs, rise, and down, lovely, good, I don't know what's wrong with me today, I'm absolutely on a mad one, I say that every time though, so we're here, the arms are going to have one big scoop up, to join above the head again, arms are nice and long. We're going to have a balance backwards now. We've done these balances a million times, I know, but we're aiming for a connection between the head and the foot at the back, and we want a nice, strong, straight line here. Arms are gonna be above the head. We're gonna bend the knee to come in, and we're gonna do the same on the other side, okay? Now, you all know my balance is terrible, so if I fall off of my leg, don't copy me you've got better balance, okay? So other leg, we're still up here. I'm gonna stretch backwards. See, there's our balance gone again. I'm thinking about that two-way pull. I bend the knee to come in, back to my parallel position. Arms stay above the head when we do both of those. Next, we'll add a little bit more and then we'll go through the, from the start. I'm gonna scoop my arm down and through the side. And as I do this, I'm gonna step out, big scoop, drawing back to my parallel. Other side, scoop. And I'm letting my upper body, my torso go as I do these. We're gonna do four of those. So again, one side, up. Second side, up. Okay, and I'm looking to work for me, so if my hand cuts the circle a little bit short over here, it's just that I don't wanna hit my radiator, but do make sure that you've got enough room on both sides. If that means you need to turn diagonally or sideways, so that you've got a nice stretch both ways, then please do that as well. Let's recap all of that from the beginning again. So we're in our parallel position. We're gonna have two gentle plies to begin with. So we've got plie, and a rise, and plie, and a rise. Here comes our fall. So we've got down, nice and engaged, and up, and again. 
down, nice and engaged, and up. Here we go with a curve and a rise. You can take your focus up if you want to. Again, curve and a rise. Nice. From here, on swing to come up. We have a balance backwards, nice and straight, two way pull. Bend the knees, come in, arms stay above. Other side, two way pull. Bend the knee to come in. We have our scoops. One, two, nice and big. Three, and four. Good. From here, let's just do two more moves and then we'll do it to music today. So, from here, we are reaching upwards. The arms are going to swing, the knees are going to bend. They swing behind to come forward. We're going to have a nice brush and a scoop to come back up. Hands swing the other way. Okay. Let's do that again. So we have a bend in a circle, a drop in a swing. We come back up and the arms circle back behind us. We're going to do this twice, but the second time we're going to add a little jump in it. Okay, so the arms have just circled behind. We're back up. We circle them forwards again. Here's our swing this time, but I'll turn sideways, sideways so you can see. But this time, as the arms brush down, we're going to bend the knees. Leave the head and the torso hanging towards the floor. Arms are going to swing behind. And we're going to have a little lift from the floor to come up. Arms to reposition to the start again. Okay, so just those two little swings on the end. We've just done three, four of our scoops. Arms circle, bend the knees, swing, circle back. Again, circle, little jump, circle, two, come back. All right, let's do all of that phrase with a bit of music, okay? Okay, our music is on. Make sure you've got a bit of space around you. Let's mark it through together. Five, six, seven, eight. Plie, rise. Nice and gentle to begin. Let's do grand plie. Nice and controlled. Engaging those legs, curve and rise. Curve and rise. Good, swing the arms, balance, bend, balance, and bend. Good, scoops. Stretches, cooling the body down, 
giving ourselves a good pat on the back for everything we've achieved today. We've done a super good job, lots of new things. I'll put some music on, grab a quick drink if you want to, and then join me for the last bit of our session for a nice stretch. Okay, coming back to our space, make sure you've got some room around you. We're just gonna close our eyes. Having a few deep breath in and out. Have any size that you want to. This time we're going to breathe in, taking the shoulders up to the ears. A nice sigh out, drop the shoulders. Ah. Breathe it in. Let's do the same again. Sighing out. Ah. Opening the eyes gently. Let's bend the knees, scoop the hands up above us. Let's have some nice shifts through the side, stretching out the waist on either side. Join your right hands, stretching up again, nice and tall through the waist. Diving the hands through the middle, folding over the top, hanging over the legs, dropping the head, dropping the arms. Bend the knees, walk out to a plank position, lowering down, scooping up to our cobra, shoulders away from ears. We can come onto elbows if we prefer. Taking the gaze up, tucking the toes, we'll have a gentle downward dog. Bend the knees if you want to, walk through the feet, totally up to you. Good. Let's bend the knees, coming down onto all fours, untuck the toes, open the knees so the torso can fit into it, let's have a nice child pose. Rolling back up. 
Let's come back together, taking your time, thanking yourself for everything that you have achieved today. It's been a completely new session, so thank you so much for joining me. That brings our lesson to a conclusion for today. Thank you for all of your hard work and joining me as normal. Again, please do ask any questions that you have or join me for one of the live sessions and ask them there for an immediate response. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week.